I am Dana Ventuzo, and I'm made in Bermuda. Okay, cool. Um, so my first musical memory was as a kid. I got my first drum set um, when I was two years old, and it was yellow, and I could remember getting up on the weekends early before everybody else got up in the house just to bang my drums. I wouldn't think about cartoons, cereal, nothing like that. I would just get up in the morning, start banging, and I didn't care or even think about waking up <laughs> everybody in the house. I would just bang. So um, that was my memory, that, that yellow drum set as a kid. Um, I think, well, my father would be one of the first influences I ever had. Um, he really invested in me and, and bought my first drum set, like I said, and um, uh, so he plays bass as well, um, and he plays in the Wall Street Band. I believe they're going to be a part of the festival as well. So uh, my dad is an inspiration, my grandmother, um, she's also a musician. She played the organ and she was a pastor at my church. Um, so she really allowed me to play a lot um, growing up as a kid, um, growing up in church. Um, John Ward was my high school music teacher and also the music director at my church as well. And he was the first person I ever heard about uh, Berkeley College of Music because he's an alumni of that college. And uh, I ended up going there um, my Uncle Randall, everybody knows him as Sean Hayward. Um, he's also an alumni of Berkeley, and uh, I was a part of the National Youth Jazz Ensemble growing up, and he was the director, and we got to travel and learn and meet a lot of different young people and musicians back then. So, there's so many musicians in Bermuda and so much inspiration, and so many people have impacted my life. If I start naming them all, I won't, I won't get to all of them, but they know who they are, um, and yeah. Okay, you want me to talk? If I start from the top, my first job in Bermuda was um, packing groceries at shopping center. I was probably like 10 or 12. Um, that was my first job ever. And then I went to um, Bermuda Sun and I was collating papers. And probably a lot of young people don't know what that is because that was before machines actually put the pages in the papers. Um, we used to do that. Um, so that was my second job. I worked for Barracks for a little bit. Um, then I went off to college. Um, I went to Berkeley College of Music, came home, started working at Studio B Entertainment with uh, Dwight Jones. And that's where I learned a lot about production and mixing and engineering and music arranging and things like that. Um, shortly after that, I also was the uh, music director for the New Testament Church of God on the island. Uh, and I worked for Ministry of Education right before I moved to Atlanta as a choral music teacher at Clearwater Middle School. Um, once I came out to Atlanta, I did door-to-door -door sales, which I hated, but uh, <laughs> I had to do what I had to do in order to get where I wanted to be. Um, eventually, um, I <clears throat> was introduced to uh, a band that I needed to direct called Jesse's Girls, and it's similar to my dad's band, Wall Street Band. Um, it's about a 12-piece band. We travel everywhere, all around the world, from Bahamas to Qatar in the Middle East, doing private and corporate events and um, I've got the opportunity to work with people like Tyler Perry and um, Major and Queen Latifah, Escape, Tamar Braxton and uh, of course the boss lady herself, Monica. So that's where we are now. I'm looking forward to seeing my family been a couple of years so see my family my friends loved ones and of course swimming um, 
that's this water and like the water <laughs> in Bermuda. Uh, so I'm happy to get to the clear water. I hopefully will get some snows. Hopefully get a fish sandwich. And um, yeah, and being able to perform um, for the people at home is really gonna be uh, great. All the time, I used to perform um, a lot. I, I uh, where do I start? I've done the Bermuda Jazz Festival a few times. Um, I've, I've played with a few uh, international artists in Bermuda. Um, I've got to perform with Kirk Franklin. I played drums with him. I played drums with uh, Kirk Carr when he came to Bermuda. Um, I had my own album in 2007 called The Purpose Project that I released. And um, so I've done a lot uh, locally. Uh, my advice for upcoming artists, local artists, is just continue to be true to yourself. Um, follow your heart. Don't change for anybody, anything. Um, don't chase your dreams. Manifest your dreams. Stay connected to the power of all, which is God. And you can never lose that. So that'll be my advice.